Hello Gemstone Hunter. What if that dark, heavy rock you kicked one day came from space? It sounds crazy, but often the extraordinary hides in what we ignore. Just imagine, a cosmic fragment, traveling millions of kilometers, crossing the fiery atmosphere, until it silently falls into someone's backyard. While most would see only a plain rock, a few would notice signs of something rare, a burnt surface, a metallic feel, a different weight. There's a simple, almost secret test that can reveal if that rock is indeed a visitor from the stars. And the most surprising thing is that almost no one knows how to do it. Those who learn to look carefully may be unknowingly holding a piece of the entire universe in their hands. So, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell, because today, you're going to find out if the next rock you find is a treasure from space. Imagine holding in your hands something that has traveled millions of kilometers through space, crossing cosmic storms and the fire of Earth's atmosphere, only to rest silently before you. There's something almost spiritual in this gesture, as if the universe had chosen you, among billions of people, to hold a fragment of itself. The weight is different, the touch is cold, and for a moment, the mind gets lost in ancient thoughts, where did it come from? What did it see? What forces shaped it? Since the earliest civilizations, humankind has been fascinated by everything that comes from the sky. The Egyptians believed that the iron of the stars was the metal of the gods, used to forge the sacred blades of the pharaohs. Indigenous peoples saw meteorites as spirits falling from the firmament. And today, even with all the technology, there is still something mystical in looking at a stone and knowing that it doesn't belong to this world. After all, it's not every day that you hold a piece of eternity in your hands. Perhaps this is why humankind has never stopped looking upwards, nor bowing before the unknown. Each meteorite is like a letter written by time, sent from places our eyes will never reach. With each touch, we feel the texture of the distant past, of the formation of planets, of stars that have already died but left their signature imprinted on wandering rocks. The most fascinating thing is to perceive how the divine and the scientific intersect here, while some see a miracle, others see an astronomical fact, but both feel the same thrill. Perhaps the secret lies in learning to unite these visions, the science that explains and the enchantment that inspires. And it is precisely at this point that the true journey begins, recognizing the signs that differentiate a simple rock from a messenger from the stars. Few people realize it, but the secret to identifying a meteorite lies not in expensive equipment, but in perceiving what most people ignore. A true cosmic fragment carries an unusual, almost disconcerting density. Upon picking it up, the first sensation is one of surprise, it weighs more than it seems. This extra weight comes from the presence of rare metals, such as iron and nickel, elements that tell stories of stellar explosions, forged in the hearts of stars billions of years ago. The surface, in turn, has an unusual texture, small cavities, irregular marks, a subtle sheen as if sculpted by fire. This is the result of the infernal journey these fragments face as they traverse the Earth's atmosphere, where friction transforms the exterior into a darkened, glassy fusion crust. A touch of magic and science, side by side. Nature gives signs, but few know how to interpret them. The dark, almost metallic color is not dirt, it's the vestige of a cosmic baptism of fire. Some exhibit tones reminiscent of graphite or oxidized iron, while others have small silvery spots hidden beneath the surface. And here comes the first great test, magnetism. A simple refrigerator magnet can become a powerful tool. If the stone is strongly attracted, it's a sign that there is iron nickel in its composition, one of the most striking traits of real meteorites. Just imagine. Something as banal as a magnet can reveal the presence of an interstellar traveler. It's proof that knowledge, when combined with curiosity, transforms the ordinary into the extraordinary. So, go ahead and like this post if you're enjoying this discovery and comment, I look at the ground carefully now. Just so I know you're on this cosmic journey too. But recognizing a meteorite goes beyond science, it's almost an art. The experienced eye perceives nuances that escape the inattentive, a discrete metallic sheen, a different internal pattern, 
as if there were a hidden geometry beneath the stone. When lightly sanded, it can reveal a silvery coloration, an indication of extraterrestrial metals. And this is one of the most exciting parts, the moment of revelation. The soft sound of the sandpaper scraping the surface and, suddenly, a metallic flash appears, almost as if the stone were breathing life for the first time. The sensation is indescribable, it's the instant you realize you're touching what was once part of another world. Each scratch on the stone is a conversation with the universe, a reminder that Earth is just one of the many chapters in this cosmic story. The most ironic thing is that, while many spend fortunes searching for treasures in vaults or mines, there are those who find true value in the middle of nowhere. A simple fragment of meteorite can be worth more than gold, not only for its market price, but for the history it carries. Imagine discovering that the rock that served as a weight on your garage door is, in fact, a visitor from billions of years ago. This has already happened, and more. Identifying a meteorite might seem like a task for scientists, but it's actually something any curious person can do with simple tools, and a little patience. The first test is magnetism, just use a common magnet, like the kind you use on refrigerators. If the stone is strongly attracted, it's a sign that it contains iron nickel in its composition, a hallmark of metallic meteorites. It doesn't need to be anything elaborate, a light touch reveals a lot. It's fascinating how something so small can be the bridge between our world and space. This is the kind of discovery that awakens the mind, realizing that the extraordinary can literally be right under your feet. And while many look to the sky in search of shooting stars, true discoverers look to the ground, attentive to the signs the universe leaves scattered around. Next comes the test of fusion crust perhaps the most beautiful of all. Pick up the stone and observe it carefully under good light. Authentic meteorites usually have a thin, dark layer, appearing as if they were burned on the outside. This crust is formed during the fall, when friction with the atmosphere burns the surface to thousands of degrees. In some cases, small bubbles or melt marks can be seen, as if the fire had stopped in time. A white cloth helps to highlight the details, if it remains clean after wiping, it's a good sign. If it gets too dirty, it's probably a common terrestrial rock, covered in dust or oxides. The secret lies in observing calmly, like someone deciphering a cosmic enigma. After all, the universe speaks, but whispering, only those who pay attention here. The third step is the test often sandpaper use a small part of the rock and carefully, lightly wear down the surface. The goal is not to destroy it, but to reveal it. If the interior shows a silvery metallic sheen, almost like polished steel, there's a good chance it's an iron meteorite. And here's a tip from professional meteorite hunters, always keep a magnifying glass handy. It helps identify metallic veins and internal patterns, known as, Widmanstaden. These patterns are unique to extraterrestrial rocks. When these patterns appear, it's like seeing the signature of the cosmos, a crystalline structure that cannot be reproduced on Earth. It is at this moment that many hunters realize they are facing something bigger than themselves. And if this happens to you, take a deep breath, because you have just touched infinity. Finally, remember, validation isn't just about testing, but about the curiosity to keep learning. Meteorite hunters around the world use the same simple tools, magnet, magnifying glass, sandpaper, and a white cloth, but what truly sets them apart is their trained eye and the fascination with discovery. It's this mix of science and intuition that transforms anyone into an explorer of the universe. So, if you've made it this far, you're already one step ahead of most. Like the video, comment on which of these tests you want to try first, and share it w. What's fascinating about meteorites is that they don't choose where to fall. Sometimes they streak across the sky in a magnificent flash and disappear over the horizon, only to rest silently in some field, dirt road, or even someone's backyard. In 2018, a farmer in Michigan discovered that the stone he had used for decades as a doorstop was actually a meteorite weighing over 10 kilograms. Can you imagine? Decades with a treasure in his hands, without imagining he was holding a piece of space. Cases like this are repeated all over the world, in the Nevada desert, 
a hiker found a metallic meteorite shining in the sun, in Australia, local collectors have transformed old farms into veritable open-air museums. The difference between those who pass by and those who find something rare lies in their perspective. It is curiosity that separates the ordinary from the extraordinary. The universe sometimes hides its answers in unexpected places, and rewards only those who decide to look twice. Not everything that falls from the sky is destruction, sometimes it's a silent gift from the cosmos. These space fragments carry within them the memories of other worlds, asteroid dust, pieces of lost moons, traces of stars extinct billions of years ago. It's poetic to think that a simple farmer in Texas, or a young explorer on the plains of Canada, could hold in their hands something that was born before the Earth itself. Meteorites are more than rocks, they are bridges between the past and infinity. Each one has traveled through eons, crossed galaxies, and waited for the right moment to rest before someone curious enough to see the miracle. And for those who wish to have this chance, there are strategic places, arid deserts, open fields, and mountainous regions, where the probability of finding a cosmic fragment is much higher. And that's precisely what the next step will reveal. Ultimately, every stone we find tells a story, but some carry narratives that began long before us. A meteorite is not just a rock, it's a millennia-old traveler, a silent witness to the formation of the universe. It crossed the absolute void, endured unimaginable temperatures, and survived cosmic shocks only to one day rest before someone curious enough to notice it. And perhaps that's the greatest lesson, the extraordinary rarely announces itself with glitter and glamour, sometimes it arrives covered in dust, disguised as something common. The true hunter knows this, he understands that the secret lies not only in looking, but in, see because when you start to see the world with that kind of awareness, you realize that the entire universe is trying to communicate with you, one stone at a time. If this video made you look at the ground with different eyes, then it was worth it. Leave your, like if you love discovering the hidden mysteries of nature, and subscribe to the channel to continue learning how to differentiate the common from the valuable. Now tell me in the comments have you ever found a rock that looked different, too heavy, or had a metallic appearance? Perhaps it was a piece of space in disguise? Each of your stories can inspire the next video, and maybe the next great discovery. After all, the universe loves to reward those who pay attention to its signals. And the next time something shines among the rocks, remember, it might not be luck, it could be the cosmos calling you. If you want to become a true explorer of the cosmos and learn to recognize real meteorites, don't delay, like the video, comment below with, I look at the sky and the ground, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any discoveries. Every stone you find could be a piece of the universe in your hands, and every test you learn to do brings you closer to something extraordinary. The secret lies in paying attention to the signs that nature leaves, to the small differences that most people ignore. The universe rewards those who observe with curiosity, and the next fragment you find may be waiting for you. This is the time to train your eye and connect with the unknown, because the next great discovery may be just around the corner. So, the next time you find a dark, heavy stone, remember, it may have traveled millions of kilometers just to fall into your hands. Each fragment is a silent messenger from the universe, carrying stories that began long before Earth existed. Observing these stones attentively is more than just curiosity, it's learning to recognize value where others only see the ordinary. The more you practice this attentive gaze, the more you realize that the extraordinary is hidden in the everyday. And if you're enjoying this content, take a look at the video that's now appearing on your screen. If your rock does that in the water, it could be worth millions. Because it shows you how to identify precious stones in a practical and straightforward way. Pay attention, explore, and let the universe surprise you. See you later, Gemstone Hunter.